Oh, what up? How you guys doing out there today? This is your boy Roto Beast. I'm here to present you my NFL Thanksgiving Day special video. If you're new to this channel, please make sure and click the subscribe button below. This way you can watch all my NFL, NBA, and MLB videos. And if you haven't come and checked out our website here at DFSCheatSheet.com, you're absolutely missing out. We have all the tools to help you compete with the pros day in and day out, including a complete optimizer, tons of content, daily fan, no and DraftKings, cash line, and say, we truly a one-stop shop for our DFS needs. So make sure to come check out the site here at DFSCheatSheet.com. So Thanksgiving Day, we got a three-game slate. I think there's definitely some good spots um, to pick on through this for this video. We're going to kind of do top five plays at each position, uh, kind of go that route. Um, so definitely, man, we'll get started. I think the guy probably with the best matchup at quarterback is going to be Mitch Trubisky, 6,800, going against the Detroit Lions defense that's been struggling for most of this season long. Um, I like Trubisky. I definitely think it's a solid spot for him to crush and have a really good game. You know, the price tag – you know, isn't too bad. I like it. I, like I said, I think that uh, he's in a really, really good spot here. So, uh, yeah. So, Trubisky's a guy that I'm going to go with first. Next guy I'll talk about is going to be Drew Brees going against Atlanta. We talked about this Atlanta defense being atrocious. They don't even want to play defense. They just want to kind of continue to outscore people every single week. I like Drew Brees. At, uh, I'm sorry, going into Atlanta. Uh, him and Michael Thomas, Kamara, definitely looking like they can have a prime spot here on Thanksgiving. So, Drew Brees. Mick Trubisky definitely looking really, really promising here. On the flip side of things, Matt Ryan going against New Orleans. New Orleans defense hasn't been looking like it was last year. Um, you know, Matt Ryan, yes, he has been turnover prone this year, but he's also been throwing the ball all over the place. He still has his weapons. Um, I think this game could definitely be a high-scoring game. And Matt Ryan, man, in a prime spot to have a good a good game. Like I said, I like both sides of this game. I definitely would favor Drew Brees over Matt Ryan, but I think that Matt Ryan is a good GPP play. Um, then we'll kind of go down a little bit. Or actually, before we go down, I think, you know, you got Dak Prescott going against Buffalo. Buffalo's defense isn't a give me defense. Buffalo's defense has been playing very well. They played the Patriots very tough. Um, Dak, you know, the Cowboys, the number one offense, you know, this season so far. You know, I think that they can have a good game here. Um, I don't know if they're going to be able to put up a ton of points against his defense. That's what kind of scares me a little bit. Um, so, I mean, like I said, when it comes to cash games, I think you kind of look at Drew Brees, you know, Prescott, Ryan, I think they are GPP plays. Josh Allen going against a tough Dallas defense. I don't know how much I really want to attack that spot. Um, and then, you know, last but not least, just strictly 100% GPP, probably going to be a little bit, you know, pretty owned. It's going to be David Blatch going against Chicago. This is a spot that doesn't make me feel good. I definitely don't really want to play this guy. But for, you know, a couple lineups just to kind of get a low ownership, um, you know, they have some weapons on the Detroit side of things. And if you can get a, a Marvin, um, you know, if you can get <coughs> one of the wide receivers, you know, like Marvin Jones or, you know, a guy – um, you know, like, um, you know, Marvin Jones or a guy like, um, where is he at? Uh, is he out? Oh, yeah, he, he actually, uh, oh, a guy like Galladay. I mean, these guys at one play, they can get up the field and have a big play. Um, so for quarterback, that's really where I'm at. Moving on to the running back side of things, Kamara, I love Kamara going against this weak Atlanta defense. That's a top spot um, for me at 8,300. Um, uh, Ezekiel Elliott on the flip side of things, I think he is a good GPP pivot off of Kamara, but Elliott against a tough Buffalo defense, more of a GPP play. Kamara, more of a cash game play, um, definitely. Uh, then we'll look at a guy like, you know, David Montgomery for Chicago, get to match up against Detroit, a, a defense that hasn't been very good this year, as I mentioned with Trubisky. Um, you know, David, David Montgomery's kind of been picking it up as the season has came along. Um, and then, you know, he's, he's going to get the carries. You know that, uh, Tariq Cohen is going to get the passes out the backfield. Um, I think both of them are, are, you know, GPP plays, but I think you could really consider both of them. Um, and then lastly, I'll look at this guy for Atlanta. Um, where is he at? Brian Hill, um, uh, 5,500. I like him here. I think this is a spot. He's been getting some extended run. Um, as of late, Freeman is probable, so it's looking like he's going to play. Freeman, if he's going to play, he's in play as well. But as a GPP play with low ownership, trying to kind of um, get, you know, different, differentiate ourselves a little bit on this small three-game slate, definitely think Brian Hill is a guy that we can look at in GPP as well. 
Moving on to the wide receiver spot, it's easy. I mean, you got Michael Thomas, clearly the best wide receiver on this slate. You mat, you pair him up with uh, Drew Brees in cash games, and you kind of move on, feel good about it. You got Julio is, is questionable. I personally think Julio's going to play. We're going to see how that goes. If Julio's in play, obviously you can look at him. Amari Cooper going against uh, Buffalo. It's a tough matchup, as I mentioned, for this whole Dallas offense. But that offense is so explosive. One big play from a Cooper, and that can almost pay off his value um, right there. So definitely think that uh, you know Cooper is a guy that we want to focus on. A couple more guys working our way down. Calvin Ridley, I like him either way, but I like him even more if Julio does end up being ruled out. I think that he'll get some extra targets his way, and he'll be a little bit more in a prime spot. Nonetheless, I think he's a great play regardless. Allen Robinson going against this Detroit defense. Allen Robinson, I mean, he's their number one option here in Chicago. He's going to get the ball thrown to him. The 7.7 .7 price tag isn't a give-me price tag, but on a small slate, I think that you know if we're looking for a little bit of uh, of consistency, Allen Robinson has been a little bit consistent this year. And then I'll look at his teammate on the flip side of things. Um, Anthony Miller, 5,300. I mean, he's a cheaper version of Allen Robinson, basically. basically. Um, <clears throat> I like his price a lot more. I think that you could definitely um, look at, at Anthony Robinson as your, you know, your third wide receiver and, and feel pretty confident in it. And the price tag is very, very fair. Um, so I think that he's a guy that we can really look at. A couple more guys I'll just quickly throw out there. You can look at a Marvin Jones, and you can also look at a, um, at a, you know, a Michael Gallup and, and hope these guys can kind of find themselves in the end zone. Uh, moving to the tight end spot, um, tight end, you know, it's a little bit tricky. I like Jared Cook, obviously. I love this New Orleans Saints offense. Top options on the slate for me. Um, after that is when it does get a little bit more tricky, though. You can look at a guy like Jason Witten. Hopefully he can get you to red zone targets, kind of sneak into the end zone. Um, after that, you just kind of pay down, man. You can look at Haw Hawkinson if he, if he does play. He is listed as probable. Uh, you can look at um, Jared Graham for Atlanta. He's a guy that's been getting a little bit more involved in the offense. I think that you can really consider him. And lastly, as a GPP play, um, I think that you can look at – where's he at? Um, you can look at Dawson Knox. I think Dawson Knox is a guy um, that we could consider as well at the tight end spot. 4,500. Uh, project, you know, he's the, the third highest projected that we have on this slate. So definitely a GPP play, but somebody we can look at. Rounded off with uh, with defense. I mean, you start with the Dallas Cowboys defense. Um, you know, we know that uh, you know that Josh Allen has been um, turnover prone this year, and the Cowboys defense has been playing good. Even last week, going against um, Tom Brady, they looked pretty good. Um, and then you can go with the Bears. So I think this, the Bears, if you want to pay up eight hundred dollars more, going against a third string quarterback, definitely in a really good spot to have a good game as well. You can look at the Detroit Lions um, defense as a GPP play going against Mitch Trubisky because I do like Mitch Trubisky, but the guy hasn't been the best this year. Um, and we can see Detroit, you know, get, maybe getting a defensive touchdown, a couple of sacks, et cetera, um, at a 4,400 price tag. I would honestly prefer going with the Cowboys defense, though, uh, for $200 less. And then I'll, I'll just throw them both out at the same time. You know, you're looking at the Saints defense against Atlanta and Matt Ryan. You can save some money and go with the Falcons defense against New Orleans. That's a 100% GPP play just because I do feel New Orleans is the top offense. I want to reiterate that uh, more than once. But Falcons are so dirt cheap. They're $3,200. I mean, they're they're less, they're what, a thousand less than any other defense that I like. And, and all you need is a couple sacks, maybe interception, and you can pay up elsewhere. So I think that they are definitely in play um, on a small slate. So that's really where I'm at, you know, for this video. I know I kind of went through it quickly, but it is only three games. I basically really like about five guys from each position. That's going to kind of be my core, and I'm going to kind of get as many variations as possible um, with that core. So, hey, man, thanks for checking out this video. Make sure to go check out all of our other videos we have at DFSCheatSheet.com. And, hey, happy Thanksgiving to everybody, and good luck. All right, guys? Peace out.